Hi everybody, John Paul Briones here from In Motion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our Getting Started series. Today I'm going to show you how to set up FTP with FileZilla. The first thing I'm going to do is log into cPanel and show you how to view your FTP settings. Once you've logged into cPanel, under Files, go ahead and click FTP Accounts. If you've created FTP accounts, they will be listed here in the FTP accounts section. Otherwise, you'll have a special FTP account here on the bottom. And this is essentially the same username and password as your cPanel. And you can create new FTP accounts if you want to know how to do that. A pop-up will come up on the screen. Click that to go to our full guide on how to create FTP accounts. Um, in my case, like I said, I'm just going to use the special FTP account. So to the right of it, I'm going to click Configure FTP Client. When I do that, it will drop down and give me the settings to use for FTP. I'm going to take that and I'm going to open FileZilla now. And I'm going to enter these settings into the Quick Connect settings here. First, I'm going to show you the Quick Connect, and then I'll show you how to set up the Site Manager if you want to do it that way. Um, but go ahead in the host name and enter your, your FTP server there. For the username, enter your username. In my case, I'm using the cPanel account, which is example. And then for the password, enter your password for FTP or your cPanel password if you're using that account. If you if you want or if you don't know the password for one of your FTP accounts, you can reset the password. There's a link there to reset it. All right, once you've entered your host name, username, and password, go ahead and click the Quick Connect button. This uses default FTP settings, and so oftentimes when you're troubleshooting an FTP issue, I recommend using Quick Connect because it just connects with the default FTP settings. So go ahead and click Quick Connect. You should see a directory listing successful, and then you'll see your files in your cPanel listed here. Um, in most cases, you're going to navigate to your public underscore HTML folder, which is where most people's websites reside. All right, and that's how you do the Quick Connect option in FileZilla. I'm going to close this and I'm going to reopen a new uh, FileZilla window. And this time I'm going to use the file, the, sorry, the site manager configuration option, which is this button right here, the site manager. So go ahead and click the open the site manager button there. And you'll see here is where you create different connection settings. I'm going to create a new site by clicking the new site button. And I'm just going to enter test site. All right, and then in, same thing in the host name, enter your host name, which is your FTP server. And then for the login type, I'm just going to say ask for a password, and I'm going to do that because it will. I don't want to store my password for FileZilla here locally as it can create security issues. So I'm just going to have it ask for a password each time I connect. And then in the username, enter your username, which is example in my case. All right, and now when I click connect, it should prompt me for the password, just like that. Enter your FTP password, and it should uh, complete the connection. And you can either hit OK or just hit Enter, which I'm going to do. And then you see it again, direction, directory listing was successful. And then you see the same thing, files listed here, and your public underscore HTML folder is there. Now when I go to this site manager option up here, you'll see that site saved in here. And then I just have to click connect to reconnect anytime and going forward. And once again, for my setting, I had it just ask me for a password so that I could enter it each time so it's not stored locally on this computer. Thank you for joining us for another video in our Getting Started series. Feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.